Welcome back, dearies, to another Once Upon a Time recap review reaction episode. Um, today we're going to talk about this current week's episode, which is episode 3 of this Frozen season. Um, I'm going to not do as much recap in these anymore, I don't think. I'm just going to do a little bit of what, what I thought and what I feel like was good and bad about the episode. So, without further ado, let's start off with Marion because she is the first topic of the day. She gets a poisoned, cursed... Uh, ice cream cone from the Snow Queen and she ends up frozen solid and they have to stop this curse before it freezes her heart and that pretty much leads us to our first little discussion here and that's going to be about Regina and Robin Hood and to a lesser extent Marion. Um, the only person that can pretty much save Marion is Regina of course because that gives a little bit of uh, tension between the three of them. So basically, she tried to figure out a way to stop the curse on Marion, but she realized she can't. The only way they can stop her from dying is for her to trust, or for Robin Hood to trust her. But first, they tried the, you know, the once upon a time standard, which is true love's kiss. Doesn't work. Robin kisses Marion. The curse doesn't break because deep down he loves Regina and he can't leave marrying them because they're married or whatever. So they go to plan B, which is for Regina to snatch out her heart. So I liked that scene. It gave Regina something to do, and I think that's pretty much been my problem with the uh, season so far, is that we haven't had any Regina at all, barely. So it was a welcome refreshment to see her tonight. That elevated this episode above the other ones for me automatically. Also, her ponytail was awesome, so... Um, a little bit of Rumpel and Belle action this episode. Uh, we basically have Hook making a deal with Rumpel to not tell Belle that he gave her the fake dagger because Belle thinks that she has the real dagger and Rumpel goes as far as to have her use it to prove that it's real, but really he's just tricking her. So he makes a deal with Hook to keep Hook's secret. Or to keep, for Hook to keep the secret. There we go. Um, let's talk about the Snow Queen. Um, we pretty much have now figured out who she is, we the viewer, and our characters by the end of this episode will know who she is as well. Um, she's basically framing Elsa and making the town hate her. I'm not really sure why. They haven't really revealed her motive, I don't think. We do learn that she is Elsa's aunt, but we don't know if we believe her because Elsa doesn't remember her parents ever talking about a sister, her mother's sister. Um, Basically, the Snow Queen is out in the woods and she's like doing some magic. The little ice sculpture she made looked like Arendelle, but it's hard to tell. Um, Hook and Elsa find her in the woods. And they have a little con confrontation and Emma shows up after spending the entire episode trying to find them and saves the day with her magic. But we're going to rewind it a little bit and talk about Emma. Because Emma's storyline with David ends up revealing one of the new uh, series regulars for the season, and that is the Knave from Once Upon a Time in Wonderland. They find him in Robin Hood's tent, and he basically leads Emma and David to the ice cream shop where they connect that, hey, this lady is the Snow Queen, and then he runs off with the money that he stole from the ice cream shop. So he's only in the episode for a little bit, but I was glad to see him back. Um, oh. The other thing I want to talk about is how the Snow Queen knows Emma and Elsa, but they don't remember her because she says it's rock troll magic that took their memories because if you remember from the movie Frozen, they take Anna's memories of Elsa hurting her, so it's plausible that that's true, but she's too... something about her is incredibly untrustworthy, so we'll see what happens with that. She also told Elsa that Anna put her in the urn that they spent the flashback part of the episode trying to find, and we don't know if that's true or not either. But we shall see. Um, I think I like this format better. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below, or hit me up on Twitter at SteveB123Vlog, and let me know. Do you like this format better, or do you like a longer format where I recap more? Um, that's it for this episode. I would like to point out two of the memorable quotes from tonight. Actually, there was three, but I can't remember Regina's. She basically sassed Snow for putting an ugly picture of birds in her mayoral office. But the other one was Hook when he pulled out the cell phone and Elsa asked him what it was and he said, I don't really know, I just pushed the Emma button and sometimes she answers. I thought that was pretty funny. 
And uh, also, Emma, running into the woods to stop the Snow Queen, yells, Hey, Sn uh, Dairy Queen, or something like that. And I thought that was funny. So, that is it for today. Make sure you comment, subscribe, like, all that fun stuff if you enjoyed this video. And we will see you next week. Bye-bye.